you must get to the place that whatever situation comes your way you're not going to let it affect your mind because as long as you have your right mind God will help you to move to the next level the devil wants to snatch your mind but that devil is a liar up in here today lift your hand and say devil you will not have my mind you can have anything else you want to come on anything else God allows you to have you may have that but devil I'm not giving over my mind to you now praise him if you mean that praise him if you mean it praise him praise him praise him stress will kill you now there is a stress that you bring on yourself there's some stress that you have nobody to blame but yourself oh I know I'm talking right then there is stress that's brought on by other people over which you have no control then there's a stress that's just a part of living a part of life stress that you bring on yourself relationships and situations you have no business being in anyhow when you know it's not the will of God for your life I'm dealing with two pastors right now who are under heavy stress because they have no business pastoring and I said to them you are not a pastor you are a pastor's helper you belong in somebody's church under a chief shepherd where you can help them undergird the flock you have stress on you that you brought on yourself that devil is a liar I said that devil is a liar you shacking with somebody for 12 years and they haven't married you yet and you say oh my life is so stressful I guess so because God does not bless a common law relationship come in here sing shout all you want to shout but if you're not married man and woman and you're living together like you're married raising kids God is not pleased with it because God blesses and sanctions the union of marriage oh I know I'm talking I'm talking about the stress you bring on yourself you bringing me no homosexual stress no lesbian stress no shacking stress no adultery stress you fornicating with somebody every weekend and now he left you baby that stress you brought on yourself because you shouldn't have given him any in the first place you bring on yourself you brought it on you now you do something about your situation and I don't care who you see dancing and shouting and performing up in here the Bible says let the wheat and the tear grow together and God will do the separating oh I know what's up in here up in here up in here the Lord never called me to put anybody out of church whosoever will let them come but you're not going to parade and flaunt your mess up in here oh help me somebody 
Last time I said something like this, they wrote me up on some internet, some paper, said a visitor came in here, a visitor came in here and visited, and I got up talking about same-sex marriages, and I was gay bashing and so forth. It was on the internet. Somebody sent it to me. They would not come back to Calvary anymore because they thought this was a church that opened its doors to everybody. We open the doors to everybody, but we tell the truth of the Word of God. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Help me somebody up in here. So write me up because God backs me up while you write me up. I'm talking about stress that you bring on yourself. Then there is a stress that's brought on you by other people. That you had nothing to do with. Uh huh. Stressful work situation. An uncooperative supervisor that's full of the devil. A co worker that don't like your know how. It's stressful even to walk on the job. You have to find yourself praying because you know you ain't done nothing to these people and the boss don't like you and, the, and they just whispering about you. You didn't have nothing to do with it. All you're doing is trying to live right and do your job. That stress that other people bring on you, but you can't let that stress put you in a mental institution. There ain't no job worth it. Ain't no supervisor worth it. Ain't no co-worker worth giving up your right mind. Come on to celebrate the fact that you got your right mind I said celebrate the fact you got your right mind stress you bring on yourself stress that other people put on you and then there is a stress that comes with just life It ain't God, it ain't the devil, it's just cause you in the land of the living. Pray for your child, and the more you pray, the worse they get. Just a part of life. But God spoke to me this morning at 8 o'clock, and I feel that spirit carrying over, that we're going to rebuke stress. I said we're going to rebuke stress. 